Hi, Hiram here. <clears throat> Please excuse me, I got somewhat of a th sore throat again. Uh, it seems that I keep opening that proverbial can of worms. I must be pretty good at it. In my latest videos, I've been working with Sterno, and where I said that I didn't think it was very useful for cooking. Heating up water, it seems to work all right, but if you need the water to come to a boil, it's not so good at that. But for heating up water, but not for cooking. With that, I got some complaints and concerns from emails and people. Uh, some of them are, there's a number of people that like, like, actually like using Sterno, and there's even some TV stars that are selling Sterno kits, I've been told. Um, yeah, well, another concern I've been given is that I shouldn't refer to non-sternal items as sterno. I should call all of it gel fuel. This is sterno. This is gel fuel. So I'll try to fix that and not call all of it sterno anymore. I'll try to call it gel fuel. Let's see, what else? <clears throat> Oh, I've had a bunch say that I should be using the sternal with one cup of water rather than two. So in this video today, I want to try to address all of these concerns and come up or show an idea that I had here for a uh, simple, a cheap, simple pot stand that can be used with the gel fuels. So today I'm going to use my Vargo titanium cup. This is a small cup. It's about three and a half, three and a quarter inches in diameter by about three and a half inches tall. I like these kind of pots or cups or whatever because the handles fold away. Now I do have my old aluminum cups with the handles, but frankly, I think these are a pain having a handle stick out all the time. It's much nicer to be able to put something away where the handle collapses on there. So I'm going to use the titanium today. Plus I've had requests to do more titanium. So I'm going to do it on this rather than the aluminum cup. What I have here is a little thing that I was using. These are lids off of uh, old cups and stuff that I got from Goodwill. Just happens to fit on there nice. Has your little... <coughs> you know, for if you're drinking your coffee or cocoa. Now, I'm not a coffee or a tea drinker, so in the cold, I'll drink cocoa. Now, I don't think this will work on the fire, so I have a tin that fits on here. That's what I'll be using. So inside, wrapped in a little cloth, is my sterno with the pot stand. <coughs> Pot stand is wrapped around the can, held in place by a little rubber band or a ranger band as everybody seems to like to call them. And here's the pot stand. It's just a hardware cloth. It's quarter inch square hardware cloth. Six squares tall by 28 squares long. You know, just hardware cloth like this. So you'd cut yourself a piece six squares tall, 28 squares long. And what I do with mine is I just bend over the top one and the bottom one to help make it a little bit stronger. I have a tool for doing that. So then, or you could just use two pieces of molding and clamp it together and bend it. So you get a pot stand that's about one inch tall and it fits right on the top of the can. Just like that. Now when you first try to use it, it's going to be very springy and possibly pop out. So be careful the first time. After it's been run in the fire, it tempers, and then you don't have that problem anymore. Uh, I went to the Sterno website to look up some information. One of the things that they say with this stuff is that its max temperature is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So that might be one of the reasons why we're having a trouble getting this to boil water. It also says don't use a sharp knife for opening this. I guess you punch holes in it and they don't want you to do that. 
So it says to use a flat tool, which is why we have our Leatherman. So I'll just open this up. Now what I'm going to do today is there's another thing I've been playing with. <clears throat> if you look on the can, should have marked it. It says that this stuff is made out of methyl alcohol. So with one of the other cans, after I did a burn, I poured some methanol in it thinking that I could just burn the alcohol. But what it did was it actually mixed in together and the whole thing gelled. So I'm going to try that in the second part of this test today. So I have one cup of water here. Put that in this. Put the probe in. Now you just take the pot stand, put it in the groove on the top of the can. Now the first time, like I said, you might see like that. Once you've used it once or twice, it'll just fold right in there and you won't have any more problems with it. Let me start this. Putting a pot on there too will help it stay in place. Oh, I know what my problem is. I put it on upside down. So, put that there, put the pot on to hold it in place, put the lid on, and let's see how long this takes. There we have 210. to 11 to oops wrong 12 to 12 at 1206 okay so on this part of the test that was one cup of water starting at 62 degrees came to a full boil in 12 minutes and 6 seconds. Now one of the other things that it said at the sterno site was you should never blow out a sterno can but rather use the lid to put it out, to snuff it out. So what I'm going to do here is let everything cool off. I'm going to add methanol to this to bring it up to the original weight which was this can was 101.6 grams or 3.58 ounces with the lid. Without the lid it was 97 grams or 3.42 ounces. So once all this stuff cools off I'll put like I said methanol in here, watch it gel, let everything cool off and I'll come back and do the second part of this test. So I'll be right back. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 1129. Huh, interesting. Okay, that was the second half of the test. I, well, let me put this out. Like I was saying, this is the second half of the test. I put methanol in here to bring the can weight back up to what it was in the beginning. Which, at the beginning, the can weight without the lid was 97 grams. 
The weight after the burn was 88 grams. So that makes that about 9 grams was burned. So I added methanol to bring it back up, did this test again, starting at 62 degrees again. This time it brought the one cup of water to a boil in 11 minutes and 29 seconds versus the first time with just plain sterno at uh, 12 minutes and 6 seconds. So, pretty cool. Now another thing it says, never pick up a hot can. And you can tell it's hot because the little blue dot on the side disappears and the can says hot. But if you can look in here, there's no <clears throat> methanol loose anymore. The whole thing gelled up again. When I put that methanol in, it just mixed up with the sterno that was in there and formed another, another load. And it burned a little bit quicker than the original one. Now, I don't know how many times I can do this. That would be interesting to find out. But <clears throat> that's a cheap... Uh, don't let the sterno people hear this, but that's a cheap way to reload your uh, can. Now, I don't, know, I don't know if denatured alcohol would work because that's not... That's not uh, methanol, is it? It's ethyl? I'll have to check on that. But I don't know if denatured alcohol would do the same thing. One thing I noticed when I was doing this test is maybe I should remake this pot stand and make it a little bit shorter. This is the typical one inch for the other flames. And uh, I don't know, it just looks like maybe making it one square shorter might help it. I can't really compare the times of what I did to this with the previous ones because that was on a bigger stand and it was also with the aluminum pot rather than the titanium cup. Again, I still say titanium isn't as easy to heat up as the aluminum is. I guess that's why they use titanium in the military and stuff because it was so resistant to heat. So even now I can touch that. I mean, it's hot, but I can touch it. So, I hope that helps the people that, or agrees with the people that love to use sterno or gelled fuels. In this case, I guess this is going on more to gelled fuel because I re reloaded it. Okay, I'll write this up and I'll upload this video. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.